it was time to say goodbye. Goodbye to all my dear colleagues. And even though it felt really sad, I wanted to make sure it ended with a blast. In my six years at the office, I had been known to throw a mean party from time to time. And I wasn't about to let this opportunity go to waste. So while the reception was about to start, I had a bit of a Polynesian <laughs> surprise upstairs. But I wasn't the only one with surprises that day. Our CEO had such a nice speech for me, and even a little sailor do it. A few colleagues had also collected a bunch of greetings in a bottle. It was for me to open after the first year on the water. And of course, I had also written a speech myself. I must admit, I couldn't have wished for a better way to end this story. So now it was time to focus on getting the boat ready for departure. First thing was getting her out of the water. We had quite a long to-do list before Moana was ready for the big takeoff. But luckily, we also had the best crew ever. Every day for three weeks, some of our future crew members showed up ready to give us a hand. They even volunteered for the dirty jobs with a smile on their face. Du havde så meget luret, at jeg kom, Lars. Det kunne jeg se. Så kom fejlen hernede. Det var skændt. Jeg sætter nye sænkenåder på. Vi laver på pænt, at de ikke bliver spist. Ej, den er flot, hva'? Ja, rigtig flot. We decided to replace all the running rig on the boat, making sure that all ropes were nice and fresh for the trip. And then we went on a little shopping spree. Two of our main goals were solar panels and batteries. When it comes to electricity, we don't want to compromise. Therefore, we chose four large, 250 watt, 24 volt solar panels and 10 100 amps AMG marine batteries. The solar panels are flexible, which makes it possible to mount them on all kinds of surfaces and even allows you to walk on them as well. <laughs> as we have a lot of space on top of our saloon, it seemed like the perfect place to put them. We 
We used some Tech 7 glue to mount them, and then we just had to wait for the batteries to be installed before we could test them. And of course also for the glue to dry. Meet Svenu, one of our future crew members and an electrician. He offered to help us with all of the wiring for this new setup. He even drove all the way across country to do so. How cool is that? And this was the result. We actually still had one big thing on the shopping list. A diving compressor. We wanted to buy a used one, but as it seemed impossible to find one for sale, we had to go for the new one. Having made the decision, we might as well enjoy it. Living on a boat means minimizing all your belongings. We had already done this when we moved onto the boat, but it was time to do a second round. After all, I don't need to bring my office wear to French Polynesia. And there were lots of other projects as well. Installing the new toilet, upgrading the sink, polishing the boat, and mounting the logo. We also had all our seacocks replaced to prevent corrosion. As the new dinghy is a lot bigger than the old one, we had the fiberglass in the rear end of the boat and the Davids reinforced. The helm station on the Nautic 395 is pretty exposed, so we wanted to have a real seat and a little shelter. Another crew member helped us make some master steps and a box for our diving compressor. Super cool! Thanks Uffe! And then it was time for the bottom paint. As sailors and divers, we use and enjoy the ocean a lot. <laughs> yeah. Therefore we wanted the bottom paint that does the least amount of damage to the marine life. Fortunately, Hempel had just launched a brand new silicone paint that they wanted to test, so we decided it was a perfect match. The silicone paint is non-toxic and is therefore really environment friendly. The downside is that you have to wipe the surface once in a while, or at least that was what we were testing. And then came Christmas Eve, aka the day we got all our new diving gear. Oh, it's a feat! And after the last layer of paint had dried, it was finally time to see the result. And then we could finally get her back in the water where she belongs.
Before taking off, we of course also had a little goodbye party for friends and family. Up next, we finally untie the lions and sail away on our big adventure. <laughs>